What does Aaron, Frankenstein, and myself all have in common? We all have physical scars. 100 million people will acquire physical scars in the developed world this year alone. 70% will be children. Those children will not only be perceived as Frankenstein by their peers, but they will feel like him too. As a result of this fact, there will be 55 million elective operations and 25 million operations after trauma. There are an estimated 11 million keloid scars and 4 million burn scars. It is my life mission to help those children and teens who are suffering as I did with pain and bullying because of scars. So I challenge you today to see and to help others to see beyond physical scars and into the stories behind those scars. Here is my story. When I was in the first grade, I had surgery on my leg. I felt like an outcast. I was called freak, Frankenstein, ugly. I was even shoved downstairs because of my scars. Then in fifth grade, I was diagnosed with a precancerous melanoma on my back. And after removal, I couldn't attend school. And for two months, I slept on my floor while it healed. And going to the pool that summer was a game of 20 questions. Mostly I dodged those questions, or I simply ignored them. But I have one strong memory from that summer. A little boy walked up to me and started poking the scar on my leg. It didn't feel like anything to me, but naturally he had my attention. He then looked and peeked at the scar on my back, looked up at me, and smiled. He then showed me his physical scar. That moment was life-changing. He never spoke, I never knew his name, and I never saw him again. But I told myself that if a little boy at his age could be that confident and could share his scar with me and to know that we were alike, why couldn't I do the same? That was the very first day I went home, looked at myself in a mirror, and called myself pretty. Eventually, I managed to push aside those feelings of rejection and pain. I began to realize that I loved myself more than my pain. And then I made a decision that would impact my life in a very big way. You see, bullies love to tear you down. They find your weakness, which for me was physical, visible. But what if I could reject what they were trying to make me believe? What if I could learn to shine from within because that is where true beauty lies? It's not about what you wear or what other people see with their eyes. It's about what's deep down that truly makes us beautiful. So I decided to shine. I had found my inner star. My star is filled with many things, beliefs I was given by a loving family and close friends. My star is filled with meaningful spiritual experiences. My star is also filled with accomplishments, big and small, and fun memories that will never be forgotten. But what good is it to shine without sharing? I love performing, I always have. So at the age of 14, I dove into the realm of pageantry, and it was much scarier than I had ever imagined. But why would I subject myself from being judged on stage when my peers were already doing that? When I am stepping on stage, I am asking to be judged. I am saying, yes, judge my efforts on being a good student and an active member of my community. Please judge me on my gifts and my talents, and to be living a healthy and drug-free lifestyle. And please judge me to push me to be the best me possible. It was simple. Because I had faced my fear of being judged, I was given a voice. I began filling out my resume with academic accomplishments and leadership roles. Then I learned how to be judged or interviewed. I talked about my interests, sharing my stories, and sharing who I was. And the best part, I was asked to prepare a platform. Instantly, I knew what I wanted to do, something that I could be passionate about. And convincing others, like my mother, that was a different story. But I knew my inner star was ready to come out, and I knew that I was ready to help those children and teens who were going through the exact same pain and bullying that I had endured, and I could help. So I created Shining Scars. SCARS stands for Finding your strength, building your character, 
for self-acceptance to rise above the stigma. And to help children, I created a shiny star with a shining scar. His name is Eugene. Eugene is lucky to live in space, surrounded by shiny friends and a shiny mother who helped turn his experience into a positive one. So how do we, here on Earth, help our kids with scars to learn to accept their battle wounds with pride? How do we help our kids with scars to shine? How do we help shape our Earth into the galaxy like my story and to help us to be proud of our imperfections and shine in spite of our scars? Confront the definition of perfection. Can we instead help our kids to chase their dreams and goals with the eye on improvement and happiness rather than perfection? Confront the desire to fit in. Foster the desire to stand out. Foster the skill to seek high quality friends and high quality relationships in our lives. Confront bully behavior. Insist on kindness and respect for all of us and dare to accept people flaws and all. Confront the definition of beauty. True beauty lies from within. It's not perfect skin, a kind of nose, or shape of a body. It's what we project from deep down that truly makes us beautiful. For your kids, granddaughters, sisters, and mates, to feel happy about who they are, scars and all, to feel proud of their imperfections and disfigurements, knowing that those scars and the stories behind those scars help shape the person they have developed into today. And for all of us to feel happy and shiny like Eugene, well, that's all up to us. Ultimately, I tell children with scars, you are not alone. You're not a freak, you're not Frankenstein, and you are not ugly. And once you learn to accept your scar, you are helping others to accept you too. We all must learn to share our stories, to help others to see and embrace a new way of thinking about our so-called imperfections and disfigurements. So I challenge you today to see and to help others to see beyond physical scars and into the stories behind those scars. Shining Scars is working to build an informative and compassionate community of shiny stars with shining scars. Eugene is represented by fabulous friends like Erin, an 11-year-old girl who at three days old had her first heart surgery and again last year endured another heart surgery due to her diagnosis. Grace, who after a horrific car accident had a stitched up forehead and for years felt like Frankenstein. For the 62 children per day who enter a Children's Miracle Network hospital, most will leave with a physical scar due to their illness. And like me, learning to shine and to share and finding lots of little stars who are hiding their shining scars. I want to leave you with a portion of my story. It is my favorite part. He taught about how it glows. He taught about how it shines. And all his little friends said, look at mine. <laughs>